Hey guys, Mick from Liquid Existence here. And today we're looking at um, Mate Skin's boat, Golf Runner 490 from Stesco. It's um, three plate, three mil plate alloy all the way through. And um, yeah, it's run by a 90 horsepower four stroke Yemi. So just um, a bit of a look. He's hiding. The boat ain't hiding, so um, he loves being on camera, apparently. So I've got the front compartments there. Um, obviously 80 pound Trevova on there with a foot pedal and some lithiums in there, I believe. So uh, they might be um, AGMs, I'm quite sure. But anyhow, it's definitely um, heaps of room up the front there. Look at that. Footstool, a bit of extra comfort. Big live well. Be about um, probably nearly a hundred litres, I reckon, if I was to have a guess. Another compartment up under there, sort of goes back up to the front deck there, if you can see that. <coughs> Same deal with the other one. A bit of life gear in there, life jackets. So back up the front, looking at the uh, console there. Pretty massive console. With 90 horsepower Yamaha on it, and you've got your two seats down there, and um, down here hiding at the back here, one kill tank. So, put your kill in there, I don't know if you get a three metre flathead in there, but um, you know, probably get most of your estuary species, your snapper. This boat's pretty much like a crossover boat, so you can go outside in it. Um, your kill switch area there. Bit of room to store some more stuff in there if you wanted to. Got the alpha battery there where we walked in on. And in this compartment. Heaps of room in there to store some more stuff. Whatever you wanted to store. And up here we've got a little live well. I'm gonna put a couple of yakas in. Too easy. You notice here the rod holders are welded in there, they're not the plastic just plug in ones, so they're nice welded in there, um, which is a great idea. Um, you're actually towing stuff out to sea, you don't want them plastic ones getting smashed up. So, And then obviously you've got the main um, cutting board deck, this is actually nice and hard to actually work on, um, it's pretty, pretty comfy out to sea. Uh, and then obviously you've got two rod holders there, which once again they're welded, won't have any dramas with them. In the console, got the GME VHF and your um, all your nav lights and bait well, bait pump and all that kind of stuff and then a Lowrance 9 inch FS so it's pretty much a standard one you could probably whack a 12 in there quite easily just looking at underneath there but yeah you've got once again heaps of room to bloody store stuff you got your side pockets as you can see fork and steer both on the other side, same deal. The cleats at the end. All right, so just with the uh, motor here, we've got um, a 16 pitch prop on it. And uh, just talking to Skin with uh, five people in the boat, he's had it up over 70 kilometers. So it's not a bad feat for this size boat. I believe that um, maybe a little bit of more mucking around and obviously with just a couple of people, um, you'll, you'll get that well over 75. So um, yeah, it's not a bad sort of boat to uh, you know go out to sea with. Uh, fish in the river, do some comps with. You've got two live walls in there, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, like it's a what I'll call a good all round boat. So, anyhow, let's have one more look at it. Got to say, too. 
there's a bit of a ballast system in this as well so you can't really see it it's not like the big standard ones but I believe that a bit of water goes back in these like extra holes here um, and that just fills it up a fraction I don't know the leaderage of it I'd have to find out but um, obviously it stabilizes the boat and it'll be good for when you're out at sea. All right, guys, that's it from me. Just sort of to show you that boat. I think it's something a bit different, a bit um, like an all-rounder. Could do anything in it, crabbing, tournament fishing, out to sea. Uh, a boat that's probably a bit over 40 grand. It's not a bad looking boat. And um, I can tell you now, it's pretty well built. Um, the welds look pretty good on it. So um, yeah, anyhow, till next time, hooroo.